Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Azuminati server. Today, today, we're going to be doing some amazing things, I th in my opinion, because this stuff is going to open up tons and tons of more possibilities that we'll be able to do because this one thing is holding me back and I need we need to get out of the way so we can do tons of things like an iron farm and automatic other farms, <laughs> the rest of the base, stuff like that. And today, we're standing in front of the thing we did last episode, which is, of course, the little, um, little intersection. And I want to show you guys that, I want to show that to you guys when it's working, because it wasn't working last episode, and I figured out how to do it right as I ended the episode, unless it was working after the, the episode, and I just, I just don't know. So, we're going to check that out right now. If I can just hit F5, yeah, there we go. Okay. And, uh, let's throw our armor back on so we don't get snuck up on by a zombie and if we come in here you guys will see that first of all this works stand here minecart gets that's not a minecart <laughs> there we go minecart gets dispensed the rail changes we go all the way up here and there's another minecart but this one takes you down see if i hit that it'll switch that little rail right there but if i hit this one it just takes me right across and i can uh, safely come over to this other side so now what we're going to be doing, we're going to turn this drop into something. Or I'm going to think about a better way to do this because, mm, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to look. I mean, it could look cool, but not sure because, you know, the I thought it was going to be really cool when I first had the idea. And when I built it, it looks really cool. But now, now I'm feeling like it would look a lot better if it was just one straight minecart rail that went all the way through and continue down the line, if that makes sense. Because this, this is junky. This doesn't look nice. I mean, it used to be this cool little uh, lookout track that you could sit there and look out of. And plus, I kind of have other plans for down here, if you guys know what I mean. And I mean, we could put we could put the storage system in here. That that works perfectly. You know what I mean? I mean, we don't need to get super complicated with it. Because if we put it over there too, we're gonna, we're gonna have to design a whole other area for it. And I want to save that for farms, but. At the same time, you see this little thing right here? I was looking at this, and I had the idea to build a little stairway that looks like a cave that kind of curves underneath here and around, and we could put some automatic farms in there and stuff like that. I think I think that'll work. And then here, where these stilts are, I was thinking we could put chests that when we're down in the mine shaft, we drop stuff into item hoppers, and they come up here, and they get stored in the chest. So, you know, I don't know. Everything is an idea right now, and um, nothing is set in stone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my thinking cap on and uh, decide what we're gonna be doing with today's episode. Okay, so I've been thinking for about mm, I'd say like two minutes, and I decided against the uh, whole I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think <laughs> storage system. Okay, there, there's the word. I decided not to do the storage system up there because first of all. The items from the farms that we're gonna have, if we do that, since it's 1.9, we won't be able to do those hacky uh, block elevators, and I'll have to do a hopper dropper item elevator, and those are really un unreliable, and they get stuff stuck in them all the time, so I thought to myself, okay, well, why don't we build it lower, because that's what we were gonna do in the first place, right? We were gonna build a farm that was lower, and then I said, okay, well, if we're gonna have chests here full of stuff from the mine, then maybe we could do kind of a, a, a hidden staircase or a trap door maybe uh, I'm not sure I'm thinking maybe we could do like a trap we could do a trap door here um, where you walk in and you're directly here and and then this like you hit a button or something and then this falls out from under you except it wouldn't be sand of course it'd be a nice looking floor and there'd be nice walls on the sides or this would be where the stuff from the mine comes from. There'd be chest like Yeah, actually, I actually like that idea. I actually kind of like that idea. But then what would we put on the front? If we put stuff on the side. Eh, I'm going to have to think again because it's getting pretty confusing. But my, my other idea was that we could just build a little door over here. And we could make that go down. But I, I feel like staircases are overdone in this base. I want to... I kind of want to do a drop shaft like that, and how would we 
make it so you would come back up? Would we just do a little, uh, a little elevator right here that, that launched you up or something like that? I'm not sure. Not sure. Hmm. So I gotta, gotta put the thinking cap back on. Okay, the thinking cap worked, and I have had some, some pretty okay ideas, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little hole here as the trap door, and the thing I was struggling with was the, of course, the um, exit, and I thought that it would be a minecart elevator, so like a thing where you just get the minecart, hit a button, and it takes you all the way up, or it could be the thing where you just click infinitely up in the minecarts, and it's really, really, really fast, and that exit would just pop out right here. So, I mean, everyone's happy, right? Hopefully, because... It's not good when not everyone's happy, and hopefully this should work. Uh, we never know with Minecraft, especially Minecraft 1.9, even though it's coming out on Monday. That is the release date. Monday, uh, the, uh, I think, the 20... Wait, so today's, today's Friday, so that'd be 7, 8, yeah, so the 29th. The 29th it is set to come out, and I'm happy, I'm excited, because no more stupid portal bugs or things like that when it is released, hopefully. That is the plan. That is the plan, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cracking on this, do some progress, and I'll meet you guys when hopefully something is done because you know that wouldn't make for a really good progress update if nothing was done. So I figured out what I've wanted to do, and or like with the space I guess, and what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be do, doing a uh, three by three flush piston trap door that is going to go straight down into our storage system, and as I said before in the other clip, the exit's gonna be right there, and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool, I guess, because, I mean, our base, our, our base has to be cool, right? I mean, it can't, it can't not be cool, if that makes sense. And, uh, this is the hole needed to house the thing. Oh, it's getting dark. Or is it, I'm gonna go get some torches. Um, uh, I have to go gather some more redstone, which I have. Some repeaters, I guess, which might be, no, they're not in here. But, we obviously are still going to need a few more supplies. And I, I'm wondering if I have those supplies in here, because I have a few redstone things in the server. Server's lagging a little bit, but let's just pick up this stuff, and I think we're good now. Maybe we'll just pick up these few extra pistons and that. What, what's in this one? I really have to sort through this stuff. I can't wait to get the sorting system done. No, no, no! Ah, almost. Almost made it. Let's get, let's just get through, and... Do we have an extra chest we can use? No? Okay. So we'll just have to deal with this in our inventory. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started on this, and hopefully it goes by easily and without any bumps in the road. And it is done. The piston door is done, and, you know, it, it looks pretty fancy. The only, the only downside with it is the tunnel's not gonna be flushed. There's gonna be these little slime blocks poking out and redstone torches, but you know what? Look, look at this. Look at that. That is flawless. That is... That, that's some that's some nice piston stuff going on right there, I'm gonna say, because, uh, oh, little lag. I think this will fit perfectly in here, and we won't have much trouble with this, and I'm glad it works at 1.9, because this tutorial was done in, like, 1.8, I believe, or 1.7, and, you know, we gotta make sure all our base stuff is working properly, so, oh, oh, yeah, what I'm probably gonna do now is, uh, let's go, let's go grab some stuff to tidy this up, and I'll just toss all this stuff into this chest and we'll sort it out later because after our, all we are building a sorting room um let's see let's see where is our acacia acacia should be no wait wait there we go there's acacia okay so we need acacia maybe some red sand might be in order uh some sandstone some regular sand and uh, I think that's good for now. Uh, I just want to do a little bit on camera here because most of this is obviously going to be done off camera. And we want to power that. So there's a torch down here. We'll power it with this torch. There we go. So the door is closed. And we want to... Okay, those guys are flush with the ground. But this is not. So we want to bring that down. This guy over here... Uh, if there's any redstone below it, it's just gonna dissipate. Yeah, that's what it did. Okay, uh, let's climb back up. Climb back up, and now we gotta get this guy down. This guy's all the way up here. Oh, can I reach it? Nope. There we go. Now we can reach it. And we'll go like that. One, two, three. And then we'll just 
bring that down like that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, luckily that, that's not, that's not an ender pearl. Boom. Perfect. Okay. We'll just, oh, 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 get out, 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 get out. Get out of here. No. That would have been bad. That would have been really, really, really bad. Whew. I am so glad. So glad that that did not result in something that would not resemble a piston door. Because, yeah, this stuff, this stuff's pretty sensitive. Now we just got to place in this last block right there. And it's pretty flush now, so, uh, I'm going to need some more red sand. I'm going to work, oh, yeah, I, I'll work on this a little bit off camera so I don't bore you guys to death and waste precious time on the video. Ah, we're being attacked. Eh, whatever. We'll just kill him. Dispose of this undead situation here. But aside from mobs and all, we have finished, well, I, yeah, of course, we and I, whatever you want to call it, have finished this area. And, you know, it, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I like the way that I terraformed this to make it look like it's kind of sticking out of the mountain. And it's, it's there. I mean, it looks a lot better like this instead of on stilts. Now it looks like it's on a sol solid foundation. So that is one thing I did. Second of all, I cleaned this all up and I patched up the trapdoor. And I want to show you how to activate it because it's actually really, really cool. But if I put a torch here, boom, th like that. That is how it opens. And this is pretty amazing. That goes down to about the level I would like to have the storage area at. And then um, there's also a way out of here because you you know you can't like fly up there where let me close up and when this closes if I hit this button there we have a little uh, exit and that buttons not gonna always work it's not gonna always be like that because the, the, that's just maintenance for me to come back here and uh, work on that I think I want to have a lever down at the bottom that says if this lever is pulled that button will work but you're not gonna be coming up this door most likely because there's still gonna be a elevator that goes up basically there's not much need to do that and I'll show you how I just wired up the redstone because this was a really easy thing uh, I just you know I did a little classic comparator pulse extender and then uh, input comes from there put a torch there and goes into there which then activates this door which is you know your classic um, small piston door that's flush with the wall I guess if that makes sense sorry about my voice I, I can hear it too I have like, extreme mor morning voice right now and yeah i've just woken up from the last clip and yeah that's pretty much it's pretty much what i've done if you guys want to see this it's just basically um your classic uh redstone torch key where this piston senses something on the block and then it goes down that goes uh and then it activates this one which pushes up which breaks the torch which then turns that off which then sends a pulse through if that makes any sense <laughs> i'm not a very good explainer let's put this back and then yeah so that is how it works and it's, I, I like it I really like it and the way that this base is coming together it looks a lot nice it looks a lot more nice now and all I need is some gravel to continue the path over here and other than that I think it's time to work on the storage area so you know it's kinda hard because I don't have a beacon and anything to help me with uh, haste and speed mining what is this yeah that's efficiency 5 so you know who knows in the next few episodes we might go try to kill a wither and get some wither skulls i i don't know but actually i think they've been working on a wither skeleton farm I, i'll check that out probably um next episode but uh yeah as you can see i've dug this out and now um all i have to do or exactly y40 right here um uh, i have to just brainstorm an idea i think i have an idea for the storage system where we just have this cool dome and then the chests are all around the edges i don't know I'm going to think about that, and I'll get back to you guys when I have a solid thought in my head. And we're back. And I have something pretty cool to share with you guys. I must say so. Oh, you might have just saw it. You might have just saw it. Don't, don't pause the video and, and rewind it. I'll show you. I'll show you in a few seconds, okay? Basically, uh, I checked the video time, and we had 15 minutes on the clock. Uh, we're, well, somewhere between 14 and 15, if all goes right. And, oh, you just saw it again. And basically... What happened was I was debating what to do for the last few minutes because I didn't want to build the entire storage area, of course, because that would be kind of that'd be kind of mental. But then I was I, I remembered that you know I wanted to get uh, the beacon and yeah, so I went off to a t um, to a fortress and boom, <laughs> three wither skulls. 
We're gonna get a beacon this episode, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna fight this wither legitly because of 1.9 features, and I'm scared I'm going to die and lose all my stuff. Oh, wait, we have keep inventory. Well, I'm scared that the server is going to just get um, tortured by this uh, wither, even though I bet you a lot of people would take care of it really fast. But that's besides the point because I'm just gonna empty out my inventory, and then I think we're gonna go and we're gonna go and get us some nether star. Uh, I just. I'm trying to brew up some regen potions just in case things go bad. Okay, it looks like we don't have any. Oh, we have glass though. So, one, two, three, and then right here. That makes three, three bottles. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll fill these up and we'll put them in here. Let's not do that. That's not how you make a potion. Nether. There's another word. Okay. So I'm just gonna uh, gather stuff together and I'll meet you guys in the Nether. Oh, that rhymed. Okay, we have our wither base right here, I guess. I got my skulls. Do I just, do I, do I put them on here? Oh, I have, I have potions. I don't know why I'm talking to him. I mean, you can't hear me. Let's drink this regeneration too. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> Let's get back a little bit. And, oh, the, the bar's different, 1.9. Looks different than it used to. Usually was regening. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! It's 1.9. Can't, no spam clicking. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like how the bar decreases slowly instead of a lot, like it used to. <laughs> this is cool. Thank you, Youper. Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I think, guys, I think that is where we're going to end it today. If I can hit my F5 key. There we go. So if you liked the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe. But that is going to be it for me today on the Azuminati 1.9 server. And I, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Or good night, depending on where you are in the world.